What's up, guys? It's your girl, Alexandria Ikamoni in the studio, iHeartRadio, with the one and only Corey SSG. How you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Pretty well. Happy to have you in the studio, by the way. Nah, man. I'm glad to be here. Yes. We were just talking about it earlier. You're just very smooth, very <sighs> chill guy. Just really, you know, just vibing with everything. So yeah, I'm yeah. excited about it. I'm excited myself. You know, I just stay in my lane. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, stay in your lane. Your lane is now music, but a lot of people know you from YouTube as being one of the biggest YouTubers. Still are, by the way, but you're transitioning to more so music instead of focusing so much on your personal life. Yeah. But tell me more about why you decided to switch from giving it all on YouTube to now music. Um, because I feel like music is a, a, a way for me to finally, like, share my story, share my life in a different way. Because, mm -hmm. like, I, I can touch more people in the music, like, with the music. And uh, I, I just feel like I've done so much in the YouTube area over the seven years, eight years I've been doing it. Yeah. And now I just want to go in a different lane and kind of, like, just experience something different. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And you're talking about, you know, sharing your life in a different way with the audience. Yeah. How are you sharing it? How is it different than what you've been sharing in the past? Uh, for sure, I, I'm able to. I'm able to like kind of like share my stories better. Like mm -hmm. instead of me just always talking, because sometimes people take your words and they just twist it. Yeah. So my people attracted to music. So like when I put my, my, my I, I just say I put like this. I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna tell them how I feel in the music. Now people liking it more over me just sitting here just talking about it and telling them, and I get to explain myself better. So. Yeah. It's just fun, and I just love music regardless. Anyway, you yeah. know what I'm saying I, I connect with music more than anything, and that just will help me through anything I'm going through. And I love it. And you're really putting it out there that people are loving, yeah. by the way. Your latest single, Ball For You. Tell me more about it. Well, Ball For You came about, um, I just went through a separation. Yeah. So the track, it just represents basically that, you know, like I tried to fix my relationship mm -hmm. and um, it just didn't work out. So I'm going to go ball for you. It's mm -hmm. like, regardless, you're going to see me ball. And, like, you know, you just got to be watching me from the sideline. So. Mm -hmm. That was like basically like the concept of that song, but I really just like the track though, cause you know I really express my feelings on it. Yeah, which yeah. is great that you can be personal and vulnerable, and people really honestly resonate with that too. Exactly, exactly. Instead of being so biased towards me. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it, I get it. So out of all of the singles or songs, and even from your album, what would you say is the most personal story about your life that you have put out for people to know? Um, it go be status. Mm. Uh, status is one manifested is one yeah and um i would say fed up for sure it'll mm -hmm. be one so those top three tracks right there will be like the tracks that you can really kind of like just get deep into my, my life story yeah i love it and talking about your life story because you've been putting it all out on youtube what song do you feel like was the hit that people really took you i don't want to say serious yeah, as an really artist could. but really you know took you on a different level with okay he's really about his music uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I think I would. I would. I would definitely say it gonna be ball for you mm -hmm. because that's the number one screen song that I have right now besides yeah. Super Soaker. But Super Soaker was done like two years ago, so mm -hmm. I really don't kind of like consider that one as one of my top songs. Right. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it too much bogus. I mean, it was like more of a fun <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah. I look back at, I'd be like, ah, yeah, it's cool. Oh. <laughs> Just a different better. form of art now. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely moving different and moving smarter with my music. Because yeah. I just, like, I got a lot of people that look up to me, so yeah. I don't want to just put out any type of music. Yeah, I love that. And Ball For You, I listen to it myself, and it is a great record. Thank I you. do love it. So really excited about what else is coming in this new era of you, of Corey SSG, that's to come. And you did put out this album, February. Yeah. Tell me more about that album, and also are we working on any other albums in the near future? Sure. Yeah, so Champion, Champion was one of my my uh, mixtapes that I put out. You know, it was like finally like, let me put out a bunch of songs, yeah, a lot of new work. And I tell people all the time, I know for a fact, I got seventeen tracks on it. You go like at least ten tracks on that mm -hmm. mixtape for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the songs on there is just like I'm. I went in different lanes. I'm, I'm very diverse, versatile. So it just, I feel like. That that mixtape showed people like okay he taking music serious yeah that one did and now I'm re I'm working on a new batch of music but I'm kind of like focusing going towards singles for a minute and mm -hmm. then I'm gonna come out with another mixtape or album okay but now I just want to kind of like just get the singles out because I put out three mixtapes already mm -hmm. put out him champion and shooting stars shoot, shoot shooting stars 
So now it's like, what's next? Yeah, I love it. Okay, so I do have to pry just a little bit. Are we thinking next spring for the album? Next summer? I just want to know when That's people, because millions of people follow you and want to get these updates. So what's yeah. going on? If I had to be younger with y'all, I don't know myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> I get it. I'm one of them guys, like, because I'm independent. So it's yeah. like I move based on like how I'm feeling at the moment. But mm -hmm. I got a new team now, my new manager, so they go help me out and help yeah. me structure everything the way it's supposed to be because I'm still learning the music industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not all the way just uh, polished up in it. So right. the game that I'm getting, I'm learning how to actually move correctly now. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. And yeah. we're not going to push you too much further. You know, vibe, enjoy the moment, enjoy yeah, the singles because you know. they're doing great. Yeah. So we love to see that. So talk about collaborations. Who would you like to collaborate with in the future? Oh, then my next collaboration I'm looking forward to is Chief Key. Really? Oh, that's my guy. He is. He's a great one. Oh, that's my dog. But yeah, like I follow Chief Key hard. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm looking to, um, I'm actually looking forward to collab with some females though. Like okay. I want to collab with Lotto. Um, I definitely want to. Who else I want to collab with that's in the female lane? Mm, I I like Sierra. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to go with Sierra. A lot of Atlanta greats, by the way. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> and. Uh, I got a, I got a collab already I haven't dropped yet mm -hmm. with NBA Youngboy. Mm -hmm. So that's one like that song been going kind of viral. So people went for me to drop that, but out of respect, I went on him to get his situation together. And I yeah. just want to make sure that you know when we do it, we do it together. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yes, and people have been loving that collaboration oh, as well. Oh, it's going viral. So I love it. I love <laughs> it. Can't wait for more. But I just want to know as well. You have people you want to work with, but who has inspired you in the entertainment industry? Living or dead, who oh, inspires you? A, a Tupac, okay. for sure. Mm -hmm. a young Jeezy, uh, Gucci Man did in his early in his early career. Yeah. Um, I would definitely say. Let me see who is I feel like inspiring me mm -hmm. because it's like I listen to a lot of people. Yeah. I'm really like cheeky, of course. Mm -hmm. And mm, yeah, I mean, so far. I say though because it's a lot of people that I really listen to. I listen yeah. to a lot of people, Which but like when it comes out to the, like me being inspired, it's definitely like Tupac. Mm -hmm. He's one of my favorite mm -hmm. artists. Okay. Yeah, I just love Tupac. I love his, his character, like the, his demeanor, the way he carries himself, the, the way he expresses music, mm -hmm. and what he stood for. Yeah. So it's like it's not always about the music; it's about the character, the person also. That's true. So yeah, that's great. He he one of the top ones. I love it. I love it. We love Tupac over here. Shout out to him, of course. Rest in peace. Yeah. But also, I just wanted to get an understanding because you mentioned like it's not only about the music, it's about who they are as a character, but the music plays obviously a huge role. There are so many different artists, so many different vibes out there. So how do you feel like or what do you feel like you bring to the entertainment scene or the music scene that we haven't seen before? Well, I bring authenticity. And uh, I think, and, and, and with me, it's like my music is 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 like, it's good music. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming in the industry leading the people in the wrong direction with my music. Mm -hmm. I want my music to be heartfelt, you know, storytelling, like relatable. Mm -hmm. And of course, I got a few songs that's just fun. Yeah. But it's like I just felt like the industry really just need somebody that have that motivation to the people. And mm -hmm. one thing about me, I inspire a lot of people already around the world. Yeah. And that just with who I am and yeah. my life already. So. I know for a fact with the music, I'll be able to just share more inspiration and like, you know, motivate people more just through my music now, not just through YouTube, mm -hmm. watching my videos. Mm -hmm. And I just think that that's how I'm going to bring my my fire, you know, to the people. We love to see They already it. love me. So yeah. like, I'm like, okay, well, if y'all love music, everybody love music, majority, most people love music. So, mm -hmm. okay, I'm very good at it. And yeah. I got a lot of real stuff to talk about. Like, mm -hmm. my life is not fake. Like, everything that I can talk about my music, you can go on YouTube and watch it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not just an artist that just on here just rapping about stuff and not living it, you know? Right, right. I'm living everything out of did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd say so. Which is great. We yeah. love the and it's real. Positive. Yes, we yeah. love the realness. We love the positivity. And really, that makes a difference in this yeah, space. So, yeah. we have kudos to you for being able to do that. So, um, also, in in the music space what would be that i made it moment for you what does that moment look like or have you already you know reached that level where you feel like yeah i made it music not youtube i mean probably just performing in front of well, i done performed in front of twenty thousand people already yeah yeah so i mean probably i, I gotta just say the number i got me performing in front of 50 to 100 thousand people that's insane and just seeing the crowd really singing my music word for word yeah that's when i'd be like Oh yeah, mm -hmm. this is it because it ain't about the money to me. Yeah, it's about the impact. Mm -hmm. It's about me actually seeing that people really rock with what I'm putting out. You right, know, and like just being connected to me. So that's gonna be that moment. It might be soon. Mm hmm. Yeah. With what single? 
has it come out yet? Ooh, that one is to, like, to, and to, you know, to, with Chief Keef, he has that one. We know his music. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Course, like, what would that one single be? Has it been out yet? Or I, I, I personally feel like I'm still in the process of finding out because the mm-hmm. fact that I'm just now showing that I'm actually taking music serious. Yeah. I have to get more people to listen to my music so I can, because I don't know what everybody is attracted to just yet. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm still trying, I'm still looking, like, looking at the analytics and looking, mm-hmm. like, okay, what is people going to be attracted to? And then, mm-hmm. where I'm messing up at, I just keep dropping good songs. Yeah. So it's like, I need to just drop something and chill and just see where people <laughs> take, because I'll drop something that's fired and then they know I'll come back and drop something that's hard right mm-hmm. behind that. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. I'm yeah. kind of excited to see that myself. Like, I just know it goes shopping because what I like, everybody else might not like. That's true. You know, so I might think that this song will go viral, but then it'll be one that I least expected to go. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, well, this is it. So I don't know just just yet what song that people go like the most. In my opinion, it sounds like we need an album. Yeah, just drop it all another, at one time. Yeah, yeah. But that, that's, that's just me. That's, that's, a, that's a good. That's a good. <laughs> That's a good opinion, though, I feel mm-hmm. like. Yeah, because yeah. dropping the single is going to take long for me to figure out which song that people are going to be attracted yeah. to the most. Yeah, but your time. Your time is the best time. God's timing as well, no, so I get it. God time. Yes, you know? I love to see it. Okay, so you are in the public eye. You've been in the public eye, like you said, almost a decade at this yeah, point. Yeah. Seven, eight years, right? Ten, ten years to be exact. Yes, yeah. yes, which is insane. So let's talk about where you are now because I want to get into the personal life. We talked about music. Let's get a little personal for a second. Mm, okay. We see there's a special lady in your life. She's in your bio. We see the PDA. <laughs> like, we love to see it. Big Bang Danny. How is that going? Uh, it's actually going amazing, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's something new for me. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people don't understand it. Like, it, they just so used to seeing what they've seen over the years. Yeah. But uh, being with Danny, it, it's like I'm, I'm experiencing something new, like a, a actually woman who's successful already, mm-hmm. who has built her own career, and she's she's actually helping me with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Just not with the with, with our personal life, but she's showing me how to become more successful as a man. Mm-hmm. So you know, just having that partner there, it just it's dope. What are you learning from her? Well, I'm learning more how to treat a woman, I'll mm-hmm. tell you that. Especially okay. how to treat a woman who's self-made, a mm-hmm. woman that don't need a man. Yeah. So that hit different when you get with a woman who don't need you. 100%. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta so act right. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that that have been on my tail. But yeah. I, I feel like that's what I've been chasing the whole time. Mm-hmm. It's just that a lot of people are just so stuck on my past, they, gonna, they won't pay attention to my present, who mm-hmm. I am. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, being with Danny is like it's a journey so far. I mean, it only been it, it haven't been that long, so I can only imagine how it's gonna be going forward. Yeah, I do want to know. Did you really send a ten thousand dollars to shoot your shot? <laughs> <laughs> did you drop the stacks to shoot your uh, shot? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm gonna just keep it real <laughs> with you. I like to leave that in the air, just mess with my my, my supporters. No, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but that's a great way to shoot your shot if yeah. I can say so myself. You think, you think so? 10k yeah toward a business oh come on but yeah I so think I you put do it, well. we put it in we put it inside the um the the, the peach cobbler factory mm-hmm. so you know it's just like you know you gotta like show people how you should support them right it ain't just all about like i want to be with you or i just want you because you find what you got like yeah. i'm gonna show you i support you too so mm-hmm. yeah no it's a good way yeah. it's a good start how did you make it official well, I just took my time and I was just there, you know, support her as she go through her business and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Man, I guess she just saw my character. Okay. I'm the type of person I tell people, once you get around me, mm-hmm. you you ignore what the people are saying because you see totally different. It's from a lot of noise out the, there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I guess when she just saw who I was, it was just like, it just started happening naturally. And then people just kept forcing us together. Mm-hmm. So I was like, hey, you might what? <laughs> <laughs> you you might want to open that door up for me. No. Oh. And yeah, she she gave me a chance. I love it. Yeah. I love to see it. I see you grinning over there. I love to see it. You're talking about a self-made woman. Like, you got to come pro- correct and whatnot. I do have a question for you. Yeah. We talk about it all the time. But I want to get your perspective. Do you believe in 50-50 relationships? I mean, of course. Okay. Of course. I mean, because it's like, that's what a team is. Like, mm-hmm. I don't understand why would a woman want a man to provide everything for her anyway? You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's just like when you got two that's coming in, you go bigger, you go farther. Yeah. And I, I'm real big on just like uh, having that mindset where the partners are, are business partners also because I tell people like, what's your goal when you get mm-hmm. in a relationship? Yeah. Like, what are you trying to build together? Mm-hmm. Why you got to just try to live on one person? Right. So if you got your goals, I have my goals, and we both put our goals together. And on top of that, I support what you have that's separate from me, and you support what I have. Mm-hmm. That gonna take us further. Yeah. So that's just my personal opinion. But, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm still the type of guy where, like, I handle the majority of anything if I got to, though. Yeah. I did that already. <laughs> so. <laughs> you said nothing new. Yeah, this it ain't, ain't nothing, nothing new. new. Yeah, I did that already. <laughs> yeah. But I respect it. I definitely respect it. So do you think 
primarily focuses on financial or how is it 50 50 in other aspects i feel like 50 50 all the way around mm -hmm. and not just financial you know 50 50 where we both pouring into each other okay and that's what uh, a help a relationship stay steady and grow. Mm -hmm. Instead of one person just getting drained. Yeah. <laughs> like if they don't look at it like that. One mm -hmm. person pouring from a cup and that other cup not pouring back into them. Yeah. Like eventually they go get tired. Mm -hmm. So if we both pouring into each other cups, like it's I think it's right we'll get tired of each other. Mm -hmm. You know we keeping that balance. So yeah. That's my personal opinion. No, it's respected and it makes a lot of sense. So 100. Yeah. percent Many people agree with you as well. So switching gears just a little bit, we talked about how you were able possibly allegedly you know sending 10k somewhere, yeah. but we had an ex that came back and was like I guess upset about that situation going yeah. on social media saying. You know, financial obligations tied to something in Miami hasn't been, you know, yeah. finalized. So, what do you have to say about that? I laughed at it. It was funny. Uh -huh. You know, it, it, I just feel like when people don't know what's going on in your real life, they take mm -hmm. stuff and they just judge it. Like, even with that situation, it was like, I was in the penthouse in Miami and I wanted to leave. I wanted to go to my Alabama and actually help my people back at home. Yeah. And so when I left, like I paid the rent, I left, right? And they, 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 so they I guess they tried to keep me in the lease. Ah, uh, okay. And yo, when I got the paper, I was even shocked. I got the paper, they wrapped it up for 5000 40000 I'm like, what Ooh. the hell? Like, I'm black. Who's going to pay that? I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be real with you. Yeah. Like, you going to make me pay $40,000 just because I'm going to leave? Yeah, that's crazy. Like, in Miami, and I, like, moving to Miami, it's so different from vacation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when I went down, I was there for five months, and I, I don't like it. Mm. I don't like staring there. Like, I can, I love to go vacation, but me staring in Miami, like, was like a no, because it just, it's expensive for no reason, and, yeah. it's, and it's a lot of, it's fake. It's mm -hmm. like, it's not realistic. Mm -hmm. Everybody down there is like, pretending to be something they're not, to, to hold this image up. Yeah. And like me, I actually, I actually live this life for real. Mm -hmm. I'm successful for real. I'm mm -hmm. not here faking it. Yeah. So it was. I just couldn't relate to it. So I just got up and left. But other than that, um, that situation was just when she brought that up. I mean, I wasn't tripping. I mean, yeah. and then and then just to keep it just broad, it's like hurt people hurt people. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And and um, in that situation, I was hurt also because I had the right to be hurt mm -hmm. because the social media still don't know the honest truth behind with everything that went on. Mm -hmm. One person throwing a rock behind their hand, and then me just looking crazy because I'm over here expressing my feelings. What's really going on? Mm -hmm. And so I just, you know, women go side with women regardless, and I just, I accept it. I mean, right now it's like I'm in a space now where I'm moving forward. Like I even like look back at a lot of the action that I've caused, mm -hmm. and it's like you know I'm not proud of a lot of the way, I, a lot of the ways I went about the stuff I went about. But I'm, I was a hurt man. I'm human. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? And then like I'm being framed as something I'm not. Mm -hmm. So this is my character. This is everything I worked for over the years. So of course I'm expressing my feelings, but it's like they don't care. <laughs> so, it's brutal out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't care. So now it's like I got I got a new woman and I'm I'm happy. I'm moving on and yeah. I just wish the other side the best also. So mm -hmm. now I'm just focusing on just pouring pouring ways and just moving forward without the negativity. Mm -hmm. you know? What's one lie about the situation, in your opinion, that you want to clear up? Yeah, you say what? It's I mean, a lot. Okay. Feel <laughs> like, free, you know. I would just went. Well, I would no, say I'll take multiple. Well, for sure, for sure. Uh, one lie that I did not like for sure is me putting a gun in the mouth. Mm. The, the abusive, the abusive side. Yeah. That 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 lie there was was a lie that could damage my career for sure. Mm -hmm. And like, and like I say, I just keep it broad. Like that team over there, I used to work with that team, mm -hmm. so I know how they operate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, like they can't forget. Like I worked with y'all for six years. Mm. I know how y'all put things together and paint a picture to the image to, to mm -hmm. the public, so that's they can look at something. So I just didn't like that. I ain't like that, and it was kind of disappointing to me, like the fact that I got kids. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why would you paint that picture out about me, knowing it's not true, and knowing that I got boys that look up to me? Right. So I really didn't like that, and um, I mean, yeah, that was like one of the main ones. Mm -hmm. All the other stuff, it was a lot of lies, but you know, I just feel like. When when people gotta make you look bad with a lie because they don't have nothing to really look you, they don't have nothing to really make you look bad with. Right. They just go with anything. So mm -hmm. I understand that. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. And you're talking about you know being hurt in the past and you've grown and matured. What are what? How do you feel like you are now? Like what's different about you now than in the past? Well, I got closer. Well, I always just like get closer and closer to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So me just getting closer to God and I, I just always ask God to soften my heart up yeah. from a lot of the damage that been caused to it. So that's why I won't react out mm -hmm. of hurt. And now I, 
I feel free. I feel relieved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just feel good. Now I'm moving in a better space. Mm -hmm. And so it just it just every day, you know, you got to think about it. Me taking a lot of the stuff from the internet sometimes like poking you. Yeah. So I just be battling, like just try to stay focused and don't mm -hmm. let it get to me because at the end of the day, you know yeah. what God got for me, nobody can't take. So every time. Yeah. Every time. Last question about that situation. Where do you and your ex stand right now? Still haven't talked since May. Okay. So um. I mean, I'm trying to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. I've been trying and trying and trying, and um, she just won't sign the papers. I don't know why. So mm. um, now I just got my lawyer involved, and we just waiting on a response from him. And I want to just move forward, like for my, for my boys. Yeah. So I'm in a, I'm in a space where like, hey, look, they they you trying to hide from me? We can talk, you know what I'm saying? Because we got kids, mm -hmm. and I haven't seen my kids in five months now. Oh wow. Yeah, and that's been hurting me the most. It's the second time. Mm -hmm. So. I'm just trying to like, you know, for us to just come to common ground somehow, some way and move forward. Like, I don't understand. I don't know if they're trying to stay attached to me or what, mm -hmm. you know, but it's like, hey, can we just get these papers signed mm -hmm. and we can do joint custody of the kids? Right. And I wish you the best and I pray you wish me the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 100%. And we just, we just move forward our life. It's yeah. just, that's, just, that's what my mind said right now. Makes sense. Yeah. And you're saying you haven't seen them. Have you spoken to them? Not at all. FaceTime, nothing? Not at all, nothing. Wow. And um, I mean, she verbally said that she felt like they, sh they shouldn't see me, which mm. I don't understand that. Mm. That's just okay. crazy to me. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best and it works out in a smooth way. Yeah, me 100%. too. Moving on. We talked about your past. Talk yeah. about your present. Let's talk about the future. Oh, yeah. Do you ever want to get married again? If you can get out of this one? Uh, ah. Yeah. Are you sure? But I'm going to take time. I ain't going to okay. rush into that. Mm -hmm. Because I got married this time. I didn't understand it. Yeah. So imagine being married at the age of 18 and not understanding what marriage really is. I just did it just to help somebody because right. I didn't know no better. Okay. And But now it's like moving forward. Like, oh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'll be ready this time because me just getting close in the Bible and understanding marriage now. Mm. I was like, oh, I, I learned a lot. Yeah. Like, I wasn't even proud of the way I was moving when I was. <laughs> <laughs> but you learned. You're here now. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you live and learn. So, yeah, yeah I, I would say, you know, with due time, if it's the right time, and yeah, mm -hmm. I, I will. Okay. It just, I, it's nothing I'm rushing, though. But that's fair. That's yeah. completely fair. And you yeah. shouldn't. Yeah, Never rush into that. What about kids? Any more kids? That oh yeah, you of like? course. I'm trying to get a girl. Oh, I love it. I, I want a girl very bad. Mm-hmm. Cause I just feel like she gonna change my world. She, she will change the way I think. I look at women. They uh, all 100%. say it. Yeah, they all say with so, a girl. I've been, I've been, I've been waiting on that. <laughs> so just one more. If you get a girl, you're out. Oh no, I don't know. It's been. I feel like so. My opinion on kids, mm -hmm. the fact that who I am, who I am, and I'm building an empire, a legacy. Yeah. I want to make sure that I have like enough kids to be able to live off that and, 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 and take that on generations, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, as long as it makes sense, I don't mind having, like, just probably a few more kids. Okay. I ain't, I ain't really, I love kids in a way. Yeah, they're yeah. great. They're blessings and they're great, so we love to see yeah. that. Would you ever get back into YouTubing more seriously and sharing more your personal? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Okay, okay. I mean, I probably won't be doing a prank, but YouTube is not just TV. Everybody look at YouTube, that, that watch it from where I came from, like the pranks and all that. They, like YouTube can be used in many different ways. Mm -hmm. You know, like we are our own director. Right, that's true. So, um, I, it's so many things that I know for a fact I'm going to continue to do. And then one, one of my biggest goals is like building a team and actually helping other successful with people become successful in YouTube. I love that. Yeah, so I'm going to be helping a lot of people. Cause I see a lot of people want to be YouTubers and they mm -hmm. looking for that guide. And so, mm -hmm. me being an OG and it's like, hey, let I me mean, become... Let me become the guy that I, I help put everybody on and, yeah. you know, help them just achieve their dreams inside mm -hmm. of that. I love it. Real. I love it. So when you say you want to help people out, what is your vision of how you're going to do that? Well, create create, create uh, different shows, okay. type stuff like that, and mm -hmm. um, just basically signing more people under my uh, camp, SSG, mm -hmm. and just giving them that uh, fan base that I have also to show they talents or whatever they yeah. want to show so mm -hmm. it's That's just different exciting. ways yeah because i did that already we did yeah. it already mm -hmm. so it's now it's just going back into doing it on a bigger level i love it yeah. That's amazing. Exciting stuff that's to come. So let's talk about anything exciting that's coming up for the rest of the year. 2024, we have a few more months. Yeah. What's going on in your neck of the woods? Oh, well, right now we focusing on just putting this music out. I got mm -hmm. a lot of music videos and get ready to drop. Yeah. And, and I haven't traveled a lot yet, so. What? Yeah, I haven't traveled that much. I haven't been, I haven't, I only been to like a few places in the United States. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I, with Alabama, Florida. <laughs> Georgia, Lord have mercy. Texas, <laughs> New York. I've been in New York okay. one time, but I, out of the I, South. I, but I haven't, but I haven't experienced nothing in New York. Mm. California, that's it. 
Mm. So now it's time for me to really get out and go see my my supporters out there. They right. haven't seen me. Yeah. And then going out the country. So yeah, it's just really about just traveling, music, and um, just growing in this world and this mm -hmm. industry. I love it. Where would you like to go out of the country? Because you know, plenty of great states, but out of the country, where do you want to go? Well, right now, I, I want to go to Bali. Oh yes. Yeah, and um, I'm going to the Netherlands. Ooh. Europe. I'm gonna go over there. Oh yeah, my one of my main spots I gotta hit is Africa. Mm hmm. I'm definitely ready to go touch Africa. Yes. I, you got, I got a lot of support out. There and you know I want to go back to my roots. Mm -hmm. I want to go. I want to go learn more about history. Yes. So yeah, that's what I want to go. I love it. But I, I want to go everywhere it. though. I'm excited to see it, and I'm excited to see the videos on it because we're paying attention to your life. I'm just saying. We mm -hmm. want to know all the goods and the bads and, of course, the yeah. fun moments, too. You'll get all of it. I love it. I love it. And for those who have not been following you, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me on Instagram at Life of Corey SSG. That's on um, my backup page. My main page has been taken down with mm -hmm. 4.5 million followers. We working on getting it back on Instagram. That and hurts. I, it, oh, it hurt my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I was looking, I was like, wait a minute, I thought there were a few more followers here. Yeah, I got four point six million, but um, mm. you know, it, it, it happens. I don't know. This is the first time I'm, I'm going through this. They, yeah. they attacked me. Mm. But other than that, on YouTube, they can find me at Life of Corey SG also. Um, but I just tell people just just type in Corey SG, you'll find me. Yeah. It's yeah. that simple. It's that, <laughs> be that simple. simple. Uh, everywhere, on all social media platforms. I love it. I love it. Once again, Alexandria Icamoni in the studio, iHeartRadio with Corey SSG. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, thank you all for having me. I enjoyed myself. Yes.